The difficulty with problems like this one is that it's difficult to visualize a cube when you rotate it and keep track of all the colors and where their new and old locations are. And drawing a cube itself takes a long time. I want to introduce um, some new notation. Uh, once you get used to it, it actually makes um, keeping track of where the colors are when you rotate a cube. Um, it just makes it a lot easier and it's a lot faster to draw. So let's just take a look at our cube, a two by two by two cube. And I've labeled all the, the smaller cubes inside. And what I want to do is go ahead and write or diagram a horizontal rotation of 90 degrees. We'll see what that looks like. You don't need me to show you that this takes a long time. So when we rotate it horizontally 90 degrees, this A cube moves over to where B is, or B used to be, so A. B in the front moves to the back where F used to be, so this is B. E comes up to the front. Uh, we can't see G, which was underneath E, but also comes up to the front. C moves over to the side here. Uh, let's see, D moves to the back and F is over here. So uh, I think I got that right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and we can't see H anymore because it's in the far corner. So I'm going to make this um, a lot easier by introducing some notation. Just a couple of crosses like this, I think, make this a lot easier. And what these two crosses mean, this, this cross at the top is the back of my cube, and this cross on the bottom is the front of my cube. So um, beginning with the front, a, B, C, D. This is equivalent to the cube right above it, and then E, F, G, and H. And when we do our horizontal rotation, 90 degrees, I again draw my two crosses. A and C move over to where B and D are. C, B and D move to the back. F and H move over to the left and E and G come up to the front, and it's equivalent to the cube I drew in the back, but um, it takes much less time to document this. It, it might get a little confusing at first to do this rotation in this way, but once you get used to it, it actually gets um, really fast with just a little bit of practice. So I'm going to use this notation to solve this problem. Okay, so we're gonna do casework. Um, on the number of whites in the front. Another time-saving tip for problems like these is to just use, um, just indicate one color out of the two. So wherever I write a W, that's where the white is. I'm not gonna bother writing a B because that takes time and it's not really necessary. So let's do, um, start with the first case where the front face of our cube has um, two whites. So we could have, let's, let's start with um, um, two whites being adjacent to each other in front. So again, I'm going to draw my two little crosses, which represent the front and the back faces of my cube. And I'm going to put my two adjacent um, white faces in the front. And I think the way I'm going to handle this subcase is I'm going to have adjacent in the front and adjacent white cubes in the back. So we can start with this simple case. That's one orientation two in the front and two in the back right behind each other. So I'll put a number one here. We can also have two on top like this. We can put two on the bottom. And I think it's pretty clear that this is different from case one. So I'll just label that as our second case. All right, again, with two whites on top in front, we'll put two whites on the right-hand side. And I think, I think that's also pretty obvious that that's gonna be a separate case. So we'll label that three. And I'll show you an example of where we can rotate one case and then find that it's the same as another case. And then we have this here and we'll call this case four. Okay, let's do um, a situation where we have the front two whites are adjacent and the back two white cubes are oriented diagonally from each other is we have two white faces in the front that are adjacent and then the white faces 
in the back are diagonal. So here's an example of what it would look like to check that a horizontal rotation of 90 degrees does not result or does result in a case that we've already covered. So this, this um, white cube in the front on top, when it gets rotated, it ends up on top in the back. This white cube in front in the top left goes over to the top right in front. This white cube in the back top comes up to the front top and this white cube, the bottom of the back moves over to the left. So so it looks like these two are the same. So we don't need to um, consider the case where um, we have two adjacent on top and then the diagonally is going in the opposite direction. And these are the only two cases. It turns out that they are the same. So I will count this as our um, fifth construction. And I'll put a sad face here to indicate that this is not, um, does not represent a new construction. Let's take a look at Diagonal in front and uh, some, a couple of whites in the back. Again, if we do a horizontal 90 degree rotation, let's see what happens to our white squares. This moves here, that one moves here, this one moves to the left, and this one moves to the front. Getting pretty good at this. Um, it turns out this is the same as number five. So I will circle this and put an unhappy face. These are not um, new constructions. Okay, and now we can do um, maybe the front is diagonal and the back also has our white cubes oriented diagonally. So we could have them going in the same direction like this. Let's do a horizontal rotation of 90 degrees and see if that gets us one of our existing constructions here. Yep, look at this. This is the same as what we have. This is the same as orientation number two as equivalent and I'll put smiley face or unhappy faces because they are not new constructions. Let's try the whites, the white cubes going in opposite diagonal directions and see if we already have something. So another horizontal rotation. This one here, there, there, and there. All right, so these are the same. So this is actually a new construction. If you keep rotating it, you'll see that it won't match anything we already have. This is a new construction, but we don't need to do you know, the opposite diagonal thing because it doesn't give us a new construction. Now that's it for our first case where we have two whites on the front. Let's go and do a case where we have the front has one white only. We'll put the, uh, the white cube here. That means we are left with three white cubes in the back. We can orient them maybe like this. And if you so at this point, if you've been doing this long enough, you can sort of tell which cubes are on top, which are on the bottom, which are left and which are right, as well as front and back. So we notice that on the top, we have this white one, this white one, and this white one. Notice that there are three whites on the top and one on the bottom. And then if we look on the left-hand side, that's this white one, this white one, and this white one. These are all on the left-hand side, and we have one extra white one on the right-hand side. Um, and of course the back has three white ones. The reason I'm going through this is because um, we have no face with two white cubes and that covers um, um, the case from that we just did. So we've already done, found six constructions where a face has two white cubes. This does not have that. So we know we don't really need to check with um, the previous case. We know that this represents a new construction. So I will label this as number seven. Let's put the white cube up here and we'll put the three white ones over here. And uh, let's see, when we look and we see that we have um, on top, this white cube is on top and this white cube is on top. So our top has um, two white that are diagonal. On the bottom, we have um, two white 
that are adjacent. We've already covered all those cases, um, adjacent diagonal over here in the second subcase. So um, we know we've already covered this and label it with an unhappy face. Let's try another example. We'll, so we'll put one white cube in front and then three whites oriented like this. And see, again, it looks like we have two whites adjacent on the right side, two whites adjacent, and then we have two whites on the left side, also adjacent. And we've already covered all the constructions that have um, adjacent uh, white pairs on two different faces of our cube. So this also does not represent a new construction. Um, the last case is we can have a front with four whites like this. Notice that um, um, we can also look at this as having two whites adjacent on the left side, two whites adjacent, and on the right hand side, two whites adjacent. And we have all those covered here. It looks closest to what we might have with um, uh, orientation or construction number one. So this is basically same as number one. Circle it, unhappy face. So it looks like um, the number of unique constructions uh, with rotations is seven. And that's our answer.